Now that we are getting FDA approval for mixing and matching of COVID-19 boosters for people who have gotten Johnson & Johnson, Moderna, as well as, of course, Pfizer, what does this mean for you? Right now at this point, the FDA advisory groups have evaluated data and have led them to the following recommendations. Pfizer already authorized by the FDA and CDC for a booster. What we are now dealing with is Johnson & Johnson recommending a second dose or AKA a booster shot for all people 18 years of age and older who are at least two months after their initial single shot. That is based on Johnson & Johnson data where they looked at a second dose for Johnson & Johnson at both the two month mark and the six month mark after that single dose and they found sustained durable efficacy against COVID-19. What about Moderna? Uh, the FDA has also recommended that people who are 65 years of age or older or 18 years of age and older if they have a chronic medical condition or an occupation that puts them at high risk for COVID-19 and they're six months or more after their second Moderna shot that they can get a booster. Now here's where things get interesting and possibly a little difficult. The Moderna booster dose is 50 micrograms. It's half the strength or half the dose of the initial two dose series in Moderna. Uh, so those doses have to be rolled out for people to say, I got Moderna, I'm gonna get my booster Moderna. What about mixing and matching? This has been an issue and a question from the beginning. And so, like anything else, the FDA, the CDC, uh, and the drug makers have been following this because they wanna see if people got their first dose of Johnson & Johnson, could they get a boost with Moderna or Pfizer or any per possible permutation therein. The answer right now, and we need to qualify right now, is that there does not appear to be any significant risk to mixing and matching, and that there may likely be a benefit, particularly for the 15 million or so Americans who got their single dose Johnson & Johnson if they were to be boosted with an mRNA vaccine like Moderna or Pfizer. There's another group of people, though, that it might really be a logistical issue. In other words, they got Moderna, and right now all they have access to is Pfizer. Could they mix and match therein with an example like that? And right now, all of the available data is that they, yes, they can. They've left a lot up to the individual and a discussion with his or her healthcare provider, but they are saying that they're expecting uh, no issues in terms of safety with people doing that.